If you're looking to refresh your wardrobe staples or for a little bit of outfit inspiration for 2022, you're in the right place. Today's video will be exploring how I am updating my wardrobe staples for 2022 alongside some fresh, new, exciting outfit inspiration ideas. If you are new to the idea of a capsule wardrobe, it simply means a collection of clothing designed to all work together so you can mix and match them a variety of ways. A capsule wardrobe maybe normally has between 25 to 50 items. It's built on a solid foundation of basics, but today I have picked out 10 wardrobe essentials that I've updated slightly for the new year. So let's kick off with item number one. The black blazer is such a timeless classic and I feel it works so hard in anyone's wardrobe from wearing to the office, wearing for casual wear, wearing out to evening. So I've updated my black blazer collection because I already have a few, but I was missing a super oversized fit, which is the style of blazer that I love and I'm obsessed with the Frankie Shop blazers. Now this is from Farfetch and I'm very excited to let you guys know that I am working in partnership with them again on this video. I have a few pieces that they kindly gifted and also I always shop on there, I'm a regular shopper, so I have a few pieces I've bought myself. I have a code as well, a 10% discount code. Everything in this video will be linked in the description box down below and all the terms and conditions for that discount code. And if any of you guys use it, I would love to know what you purchase. Denim is a must in any wardrobe. Again, for me, it's timeless, it's classic, but I've updated my denim this year with neutrals. So normally I am a black jeans girl through and through. I'll always love them, uh, but I wanted to mix things up and wear more light colored jeans. So over Christmas, I picked these up and bought some A Gold jeans from Farfetch. They have so many uh, different styles of this brand on the website. And I went for a classic 90s straight leg, high-waisted, super comfortable. I picked for size 26, so I'd say they're true to size. But I loved this pair because they're more of like an off-white cream color. When looking at, say, white jeans, I feel like a really stark, bright white um, is like a little bit harsh sometimes. I feel like cream, uh, off-white kind of tones work better with all different hues in your wardrobe. And I think they look great in winter and spring and summer. So I'm going to get loads of wear out of these. Second skin tops are really popular. And I wanted to update my wardrobe with something a little bit more fitted because I'm always wearing oversized. Sometimes I feel like I get a little bit lost in my clothing. So I wanted a tighter fitted top Top, probably to pair with like tailored trousers, pair underneath a blazer uh, and I saw this off-white one and as you'll see here it just looks so cool having the off-white logo poking through. I actually have two of them because they do a bodysuit version as well as a kind of short top version, seam side to side, exactly the same top has off-white branding on the back. I thought I would order both, the returns process is so easy on Farfetch and I wasn't sure if the bodysuit might be too short for my body or if I'd get more wear out of a top. These are actually from their performance range, which is more of like a workout range. I thought I could also wear this short top in the gym if I wanted to. So I'm unsure yet as to which of these I will keep, but as you can see, they're exactly the same. A boxy relaxed shirt is a must have in a capsule closet. They just look effortless again. You'll hear that word lots of times in this video today, but effortless chic. They look like you're not too try hard as well. Think going into your boyfriend's or husband's or brother's or dad's wardrobe and pulling out one of their shirts. I especially love when they're styled kind of with one side tucked in. Again, little attention to detail on the elevated basics that can completely change the way an outfit looks just by how you have tucked your shirt in. Or you can do the double tuck where you wrap both sides over each other, a little bit like a burrito and just tuck it in, which is great for an evening out. A pair of a waist belt, just so many ways you can wear a shirt, even as a throw on on holiday. So it's a very versatile piece in the wardrobe. I would always opt for 100% cotton where you can because they're more breathable and this year I'm updating my shirts by, instead of opting for obviously the classic white shirt, which of course is a staple, I've gone for a brown tone, which again is from the Frankie shop, my beloved favourite brand. Uh, I picked this one up over Christmas again and I spotted the other day that Farfetch, when I was looking, did have this shirt in like a green colour that Bottega green vibe and a few other colours. I don't really need to say much more except look at these bad boys. So a classic sneaker is a must for your capsule wardrobe. If you do not already wear trainers, 
what are you wearing? <laughs> I don't understand how people can walk around in heels all day. We need some comfort in our life, especially after everything that's happened the last few years. But I've always been a trainer, a bit of a trainer lover. And because I love Converse so much, I wanted to opt for a lower style. So a style that would sit underneath my ankle. Um, I feel they look really nice with crop trousers. They're gonna be great going through to spring, but easily I could pair a sock with them uh, to wear now while it's still a little bit colder here at the end of winter. They came, I will show you how they arrived. They came, of course, in their box. Inside the box there is also a authenticity card. And the trainers also came with a dust bag per shoe so you can keep your trainers nice and clean when you're storing them or say if you're going traveling you're popping them in a suitcase you can pop them in these dust bags which absolute treat when I open this box for these trainers I cannot tell you how excited I am about them sizing for these bad boys I would say go true to size I got a 41 and I am a UK 8 I have about you know a little finger amount of room at the end in the toe they feel comfortable that leather insole on the inside they don't rub I was concerned that this bit here might chafe on my ankle because I sometimes have that problem uh, with low cut shoes say some brogues or even low converse rub me there but these don't at all they feel so comfortable I'm so excited about them I already have loads of outfit ideas for these um, so I get so much wear out of my converse I knew that I was missing a low cut pair for my capsule wardrobe of transitioning into spring and the warmer months. This year I will be updating cashmere jumpers for cosy snuggly cardigans. I'm a sucker for wearing my dressing gown all the time in the house and I told myself this year I'm going to make more of an effort. I'm going to get up and dress every day. Over on my Instagram at Charlotte Buttrick I've started doing daily get dressed with me videos so instead of feeling a little bit slobbish in a dressing gown I wanted to get a long cozy tie waist belted cardigan and at the moment I feel like these are really hard to come by but I managed to get my hands on this Joseph one on the Joseph website in the sale of course it went like hotcakes I'm pretty sure it sold out but they do stock Joseph on Farfetch as well and this is just again timeless classic can be worn on its own even as a dress be really nice with some long boots underneath it I can belt it I just want to be comfortable and cozy but I wanted to experiment with a long line cardigan because it's not really something I've had in my wardrobe before but equally it's something I know I will get a lot of wear out of. So let's talk dresses. Of course a dress is a staple in your wardrobe and this year I'm going to be updating my dresses from long sleeve dresses to sleeveless dresses, sleeveless knits or slip dresses and definitely white dresses. White dress is going to be a big thing for the upcoming spring summer season so I'm already getting myself ready with this beautiful 12 stories dress which is a little bit of a hybrid. We have a kind of slip dress layer underneath and then over the top we have kind of a sheer knit detailing. It's a kind of fit flare dress it's fitted at the waist and flares out slightly uh, a maxi length i'm five foot eight again something i can dress down with trainers in the day uh, or i can dress up in the evening for drinks out and still be comfortable because i'm just all about being comfortable it would look really nice paired underneath this blazer with a little pair of heels i feel maxi dresses as well are going to be a big thing for this season but again that style is also really timeless i think it's ladylike there's something just really elegant about a long dress a sweatshirt is perfect for those off duty days but i also love the challenge of juxtaposing a sweat against something a little bit dressier whether it's a silk skirt or it could be some tailored trousers or worn with some baggy jeans and a pair of heels. So I am adding a little bit of logo mania to my wardrobe for 2022. Uh, not too much of a logo, but here I have an Anine Bing sport jumper, which I picked up in the sales over Christmas from Anine Bing. I did actually order the joggers to go with this as well, but they were too short on me. So a little bit of a tip for anybody who, like myself, is like 5859 or above, the joggers from Anine Bing are not made for tall people. <laughs> so I sent the joggers back, but I kept the jumper because having a nine month old and 
since all the lockdowns we've had, I've just become accustomed to loving loungewear. So when I go out, I want to feel a little bit put together, but I still want to be comfortable, like I said. So I feel like this is logo, but not too logo mania. And it's just really versatile. And I'm gonna experiment with lots of ways, dressing up, dressing down, of course. I'll be pairing it under a blazer. I'll pair it underneath the black Frankie Shop blazer in the cutaway for you, but definitely essential in your capsule closet. Speaking of joggers, I'm swapping out joggers this year for leggings. They are still comfortable, still as comfy as joggers, but I feel like they look more put together, off-duty chic, wearing them in the evening, wearing them just in the day with trainers, and I have found the perfect pair. I bought these the other week. They are Norma Kamali. They are high-waisted, so you feel super comfortable and secure in them, but they're super stretchy. They're made of like a soft jersey stretch fabric. I have also just ordered a nude pair that's very similar to the color blazer I have on today. Uh, I think I'm gonna be wearing them lots and lots and lots. Just a classic basic, and nowadays there are so many elevated leggings that you'll find. This pair, they have a slight flare at the bottom and then they have a split hem, as you'll see in the cutaways. So I think they're gonna look perfect paired with heels as well. With an oversized blazer, it'll balance out the proportions perfectly or with a big baggy jumper on the top. Uh, personally, I wouldn't go skin tight on the top with a skin tight bottom. I would play with your proportions, but leggings are a must have and I do think it is worth investing a little bit more because I really can tell the difference. I did order some really monkey leggings or something as well that were pretty similar and I put them on and they were a little bit itchy straight away, they didn't move the same, uh, definitely worth investing in leggings, they're a great basic to have in your capsule wardrobe. When it comes to coat, nothing screams sophistication like a wool coat, but they can also easily uh, be dressed down, I think they look great over joggers for that off duty vibe, but they're just really chic and effortless for throwing on. And this year I'm updating my love of black coats, again for neutrals, I feel like a cream coat is going to be really great going into spring and summer, it looks really good in winter as well. Obviously you have to be a little bit cautious about when you're wearing it, check the weather, check you're not obviously trudging for any mud, but I have this beautiful uh, double breasted long line coat which is from Naked Fashion, um, just so chic, I'll be dressing it up, dressing it down. These aren't the only pieces you need to create a capsule wardrobe, but I thought they might help you narrow down areas where you might want to refresh your wardrobe, elevate your basics. If you wanted to know more about capsule wardrobes, let me know. I can put one together for spring and summer. They normally have about 25 to 50 pieces in them. Uh, if you were wanting to shop anything in today's video, it's all linked down in the description box below. And I have my amazing 10% discount code with Farfetch. Again, everything will be linked down in the description box below for you guys with sizing information as well, uh, terms and conditions. I can't wait to get wearing all of these items of clothing lots of different ways. So make sure that you go and check me out on Instagram as well. Subscribe if you are new here to my channel and I will see you next week in another video.